after the challenge, I'm minding my business in my room, when all of a sudden, I step on a piece of glass. The flowers that Jordan gave me, one of the bases is gone. I guess Sydney picked up my base of flowers and threw it and didn't even clean up the mess. I am pissed off. That's a psycho. Shut the up. You want to talk? Talk face. Talk to my face. I'm not talking. Stop. Stupid bitch. Cause Why? nobody wants you here. Watch. I nobody never, wants no, you here. Yeah, the want me here, and that's all that oh, matters. One. So you here for her? You here for her? You here for her? No. One dude's here for you. You stupid bitch. Mount Sydney has to erupt at least two times a day. Sydney has no concept of respect or social barriers. You're mad as hell, Sydney. You got people in front of you. you come talk to my face, bitch. You're you got a security guard. Don't you. I have no idea what's going on, but I don't care. I care. I have Sydney's back. I will beat the out of you. Get her run in your mouth. Get you gotta go. You're a safety hazard. Big and bad when you got somebody in front of you. Cause you a stupid ass. You better watch yourself, bitch. Whew. I gotta pace. I gotta. I gotta pace. That violent attitude is such a turnoff. Sydney's bad attitude is definitely one of the most negative things about her. And if she doesn't nip that in the bud, she's going to start pushing all the other guys away. Like this is gonna happen. Everyone, everyone blows up now and then, right? Yeah. But now and then is the every day. We run this house. We run this house. We're gonna run the bitch straight up. Now I don't only have one psycho bitch on my ass, but I have another psycho bitch on my ass. That's whack as hell. We run this motherfucking house. We run this house. We're gonna run the bitch straight up. Now I don't only have one psycho bitch on my ass, but I have another psycho bitch on my ass. That's whack as hell. So Sydney picked up my vase of flowers and threw it. The next thing I know, me and Sydney are just screaming and yelling at each other. I'm over it. So I'm packing my bags, and I'm about to move all the way across to John and Matthew's room. So tell me what happened. She walked in, I was like, you're a psycho. You know, just standing up for mm -hmm. myself. I'm not sleeping in that room. You're more than welcome. You know, you're more than welcome. That room. Judy, what is going on? Why are you in here? Because I really thought these girls were my friends and cool, but they do a lot of, like, tag teaming against me. Play the game right. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get to know the guys. When your back is against the wall, you know what I'm saying, you have to step up to the plate. Do you know how I feel, though? Like, I feel really alone. Like, it's a competition, and at the end of the day, they can fool each other all they want. Yes, thank you. They would not have beef if they did not feel threatened. You're a threat. You're doing something right. You're doing something right. You do a lot of things wrong, <laughs> but you're doing something right, okay? I just came to tell you that the date is coming up. Sydney as HBIC chose Edson for you, uh -huh. and I was gonna send you all out together, but you know, to avoid all the drama, I set up something for you here at the house. You'll definitely have your alone time and have some fun, and it'll be drama-free, okay. just you and the guys. Okay, so I can pick one more date, right? Yes, at the end of the day, that's exactly what you want. <laughs> 